Go home, Link. You're drunk. Hey there, real gamers and gatekeepers. Retro Rob here, and today I'm going to be talking about my Game Boy Advance collection. And the reason for that is that I just got one of my Holy Grail items, and that is the Game Boy Micro. That's right, it's a Game Boy Advance, a tiny little itty bitty thing with a tiny little screen. I actually had something very similar to it uh, called the GP2X Wiz a while back. I don't think I did any videos. I think that was before I was doing videos, but uh, I got that because it reminded me of this one, and I'm very happy to have it. Found it at a thrift shop of all places. They had two of them. I grabbed the silver one because I thought it looked better. Who knows if that was a good choice. But anyway, first time I've run into one at a decent price, it did come with the charging cable, so I think it's pretty good. Now, let's go on to the rest of the collection. And here's my Game Boy Advance. Notice that it has been backlit mod. It is an actual Game Boy Advance, uh, but I did do some changes, obviously, because, you know, they didn't have a backlight back in the day. Uh, really nice little console. I like it, but uh, I like the other one better. <laughs> Anyway, if you want to know more about this one, I've actually got a video on it. I'll link it down below. In case you're wondering what Doom looks like on the Game Boy Advance. Here it is. It's really not that bad. It runs it about as well as my old Pentium did. I wouldn't blame you if you thought that what is inside this box is a Game Boy Advance SP. But it isn't. It plays Game Boy Advance SP games. It looks a lot like an SP, but it is totally and utterly a Chinese knockoff. And here's what it looks like. It boots to a menu with a bunch of Game Boy Advance games. I think there's some NES games on here. I cannot recall. Yeah, there are. See? McKids. Stuff like that. But anyway... Looks in every way like a Game Boy Advance SP, but it feels much cheaper. Uh, the buttons are very clicky. They're not terrible or anything, but they're definitely not amazing. You can actually put a Game Boy Advance game in the front of this, and it will run the game more or less successfully, depending on the game, because it's emulated. It's definitely not hardware. All right, let's go on and take a look at my games. By the way, if you want to know more about the fake Game Boy SP. I have a video or two on it. I'll put a link down below. Next, I have this awesome 369 in one cart. It says no repeat. <laughs> Liars! But uh, it's actually a pretty decent cartridge. It's not uh, amazing, but it does have a lot of games on it, and it's enjoyable to play. I'm gonna sue! Next, I've got Mr. Driller 2 for the Game Boy Advance. This, of course, is the Japanese version. Japanese games will run just fine on your U.S. Game Boy Advance, no problems there. Very enjoyable. Be careful what you uh, get though, because you know some of them aren't in English at all. So, you know, you want to be able to read it. Next, we got F Zero. Nice little racer for the Game Boy Advance. Again, this is the Japanese version. I do like collecting some Japanese stuff. I'm not like a Japanophile or anything, but. I like their boxes a little bit better in some cases, and I think this one looks really great. I mean, look at that. Mario vs. Donkey Kong. I absolutely love this game. I think it's just great. Works well on the platform. Uh, if you haven't played it, it's kind of a puzzle platformer. Really fun, though. Really great game. Again, one of my most recommended games for this platform. It's really fun to play. Can I say fun a couple more times? Fun. Fun. <laughs> All right, next we got Top Gear Rally. I played the living heck out of this game years ago. Again, great racing game. There's actually quite a few decent racing games for the Game Boy Advance. Uh, if you've got a favorite, let me know in the comments down below because I'm always looking for new games for the GBA. And there we go. It is way smoother running than you might expect. If you've played any of those early like uh, 3D racing games for the Game Boy Advance, this is nothing like them. It's fast, fun, furious racing. It is really, really good. Highly recommended. Mm. 
Next we have James Pond, Operation Robocod, or codenamed Robocod. And here he is. One of my favorite games on the Amiga. This version is slightly different from the other versions of the game. It is uh, its own thing. It's it, it does play like Operation Robocod, but the levels are different. So pretty interesting, nice version of it. All right, now we're gonna go on to my loose games. Oh no, I almost forgot to mention this thing. This is the Super Card, and this does work with the Game Boy Advance as well. And you can put your own SD card in here and run the games off of there. There's a bit of a process. I did a review on this a while back. You can see it if you'd like. And there we go. It's not terrible. It's actually pretty decent. Plus you can put your own games on it if you don't like what's on the other card. No complaints. All right, now we'll go to my loose games. And here we have Doom, which I showed you a little bit earlier, just a couple seconds of it, but neat game, a uh, nice version of it. Really, i kind of impressed. Next, we got Mario Party Advance, which I hate to tell you, I don't even think I've played it. I hear it's a great version of it, fun to play, but I've never even tried it. Maybe I will one of these days when I get some peace and quiet. Next, we have Defender for the Game Boy Advance. It actually has some graphical upgrades from the original game. It's decent, nothing amazing. I wouldn't write home about it or anything, but it's quite nice. Next, we have Rayman. Really nice port of the game. No complaints here either. Again, you know, the Game Boy Advance had a lot of great games for it. It's hard to be like a best game on the Game Boy Advance because it's got so many great ones. Motor Racer! Uh, it's, you know, motorcycle racing. It's passable. Let's go on. I'm not very excited with this one. <laughs> I did want it really bad back in the day, but anyway, it, it just, I don't know. I, every time I get all excited about like motorcycle and MX games, and then I just play them a little bit and go, eh, it's all right. Next, we have Dodgeball. This is freaking great. Super Dodgeball. I... I'm not 100% sure whether this is the same as the Neo Geo version, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's the same as the Super Nintendo version, and both are awesome. This is a great game. Even if you do not like sports games, you will likely like Dodgeball. It is freaking great. Trust me on this one. Next, we've got Pac-Man. The Collection. There's a few Pac-Man games on here. All of them are very good versions. This is another one of those cartridges that I constantly play on the Game Boy Advance. I don't, uh, I, there's not a lot of games that I really loop back to other than uh, this and maybe uh, Mario Pinball and Advance Wars. But this is really, this is a great Pac-Man collection. I know, I know everybody has done most of these games, but really it's a nice handheld version. Next, we have Focus Mario Kart Super Circuit. And it is wonderful. Great little racing game. Used to play this one a lot when it first came out. I haven't played it as much lately. I mean, there's just so many good racing games out there in general. It's kind of hard to, it's not a pared down version or anything. In fact, if anything, it's, you know, an upgrade really from the Super Nintendo version but it's just that there's so many great racing games I don't really have time to play this one enjoy the hate mail I guess next we have Advance Wars 2 loved Advance Wars love Advance Wars 2 how can you complain about this game uh, for those of you who never played it it's a tactics based game really enjoyable it's I'm not gonna call it bare bones it's it's just I don't know how to put it. It's it's not really simplified as such, but it has a nice type of presentation for the Game Boy Advance. If you've never played this game, again, highly recommend it if you like tactics-based games. And one more game, and then I'm done. I said this is a pretty small collection, and it is. There we go. Mario Pinball Land. And you can just not talk crap about this game. I absolutely love Mario Pinball Land. Uh, it's not the first 
of this kind of thing where it melds you know pinball play with multiple levels and things like that but in my opinion it was done super well it was a surprise to me i picked it up just basically on a whim i think i picked up with some other games this was years ago and just loved it so there it is mario pinball land the last game in my collection mumble mumble and there it is my game boy advance collection as of 2021 let me know in the comments down below what i'm missing what you liked i want to thank you very much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please do me a big favor thumbs up subscribe for more and ring that bell i'll see you in a couple days bye